Hi there, this is Saver Crypto, uh, wishing you a lovely, relaxed and cool uh, Sunday afternoon or whatever it is, whatever time of day it is for you. OK, so in the Telegram group, uh, the one you can get to by going to savercrypto.org slash TG, uh, I've been updating you on what I'm doing with the $200 uh, Bitcoin challenge. This is the one where I put $200 in there on January the 2nd uh, this year. And I, I had it up to almost $4,000 and then I kind of lost most of it on March the 7th, I think it was, March the 9th. Um, and then uh, I've been building it back up since then. So I haven't done any monumental trades yet, but there's lots of little ones. I'll show you in a moment. But anyway, I've been keeping you updated about things. And it's quite funny because I did some updates today because there was one where I was, I was just drawing out a nice little triangle and all of a sudden the price shut up out of it. And uh, what I decided to do was to uh, get the F out of the trade at... Um, Oh yeah, I actually set a profit. Set, I actually set a take profit for uh, twenty seven nine eight seven. Okay, so that's what I did. So I I came out of the trade too early. You know, I should have stayed in it, but uh, the problem was it had been down for so long, and the overall balance had been quite negative of the trade, and uh, it just wasn't looking nice. Really, I just kind of wanted a fresh start, really. And to be honest, I I wanted to be trading not with the entire capital. I wanted more like half. In retrospect, what I should have done is just taken half off the table and then, you know, use that to sort of average in a better position. Anyway, it is what it is. And uh, yeah, there you go. So there's a little tiny profit, um, not a lot at all, actually. But that puts the balance at 422.33, um, cents, which is which is fine. So that's more than double what I started with. And I was just looking at the trades I've done so far. I mean, I mean, they're all the last you know dozen or so are all kind of positive you know they're all they're all tiny but uh you know this one here like is two percent they're all like two percent and you know occasionally there's a bigger one that one was 32 percent. that was a good one um but uh the problem was is this one happened here what date was it yeah the 9th of march and that one was hideous that was that was a 79 percent loss now i don't want that with that to happen ever again so I'm going to be much more careful from now on. So uh, what am I doing now? Well, at the moment, I'm not in a trade, um, but I'm thinking about it. And the reason is various reasons, actually. Um, but uh, the reason is the CME markets closed at 27.705 on Friday night. Now, there's been a thing with this where what seems to happen is on Monday, um, either very early in the morning or sometime, I don't know, Monday or Tuesday, the price does seem to come back to whatever it closed at on the Friday night on the CME grip. And uh, if that's the case now, it's actually quite near. It's actually like 100 bucks down from where we are now. So you see that's where we are now, like 27,795. So um, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to set a, 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 a long um, with about 25% of the capital at that price so i'm going to do that right now so that's uh 27705 okay so let's go to derivatives invert contract so that's btc usd so it's 27705 now i'm not sure what leverage i want to use right so i think what i'll do is use this little calculator thing here so this here, you can just go to liquid liquidation price there, and you can put in, you can put, actually put any amount in there, it doesn't really matter. And let's say the entry price was going to be whatever I just said, which is that. Um, and I want to know what the liquidation price would be on, let's say, I don't know, 3x leverage. Okay, well that would be 20,856. I think as long as that's about 24, I'm going to be happy. So let's say... Um, 4x, mm, I, can, I can do better than that. 5x is 23, let's try 7. Okay, 7x is 24.3, 24.78, it's going to be 10, isn't it? <laughs> okay, well, 10x leverage will come out at 25,301. Okay, I think that's a reasonable kind of thing. Yeah, I'm going to leave it at 10x, yeah. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to just do that. So I'm going to do a limit order at that price I just said, 27,705. 
and I'm going to use 25% of the capital. Okay, I'm going to do that. And it says again here, estimated liquidation price, 25,301. Okay, now that's with 25% of the capital. Okay, then I want to just look at some other levels that I think it might go to as well. Now I want to set a couple of orders further down uh, that I think it might go to, and you know I'm not sure if this is the right way to do it, but I'm just going to grab the Fibonacci tool, and I'm going to go from this low here, that's just there, and I'm going to go to that high there, that's just just about there. Okay, I'm just going to choose these uh, two levels here on the 0.5 and the 618. So that's uh, 26391 and 25774. So 26391. So 26391. And I'm going to use the same amount again. Okay, so that's like about another 25% if you like. See that on its own would have a liquidation price of 24 grand. Okay, so let's put that in there. Um, what else? And uh, the other one on the 618 was at uh, 25,774. So 25,774. And then that one, I'm just going to use everything that I've got left. Okay. So that should give um, three entries that look kind of like 50%, 25%, and 25%. So you can see the higher orders are like about a thousand bucks, 1,035. That's with the leverage, obviously. And the, the bigger one at the bottom at 25.774 is at $1,880 in quantity. So that's kind of roughly 25%, 25% and 50%. And then you can see the orders down here. Okay, so there, there and there. So that's what I'm doing for the moment. Okay. I did think about trying to short it, but to be honest, I think it's going to go up. So I don't want to short it. I don't want to short something that's... I think is going to go up you know if it was very very overextended and gone really high and it had rallied just rallied like you know a thousand bucks or something i might think about shortening it then but for the moment i'm not okay so that's what i'm doing there so let's see how that plays out um over the next 24 hours or so uh, I, I have noticed that the the cme price on the friday although it does tend to come back to it on the monday or the tuesday in a few Saturdays and Sundays recently it has actually gone back to that price during the weekend which is uh, always a bit weird uh, but uh, it has done that so you, know, you never know that order might actually fill today uh, you know before midnight uh, but we'll have to see what happens but you know just make sure you're in the telegram group and then uh, I can keep you informed you know because I can just put a little message there like really really quickly um, oh, I was watching, uh, do you know this guy, uh, Sam Price, he's called uh, Crypto Lifer. He's quite entertaining, I quite like him, he seems a very very wholesome guy actually. Uh, but he was he does a live stream thing most days, in fact every day I think. And uh, it, there's always a load of people in the chat and there's always like somebody who's sort of moaning about about Sam flexing. And he doesn't really flex that much. You know, he's not a sort of Bugatti type guy. He's a guy who likes looking after his family, as far as I can see, pretty much like myself. And, uh, you know, someone in the chat was sort of moaning about not having any money and, or, you know, just saying, stop flexing Sam. And it was just like, it was a bit cringy, really. And it got me thinking, actually, because um, I, I wondered how many people in the world there are who don't have shoes, right? And it, over 600 million people worldwide don't own a single pair of shoes, right? So if you've got a pair of shoes, you're really lucky, okay? I've got, what have I got? I've got some shoes that I use for, uh, you know, weddings, funerals, that kind of thing. They seem to be getting too much use recently. And I've got a pair of uh, Vans trainers and I've got some sandals and that's it. Uh, I think I've got a pair of Crocs somewhere as well. So there you go. I've got four pairs of shoes, right? So I consider myself very, very lucky. So let me know how many pairs of shoes you've got in the in the comments, right? And while you're down there, please give the video a like and leave a nice comment. As, well, you know, not just about shoes, but about anything you like. Uh, and, uh, of course, make sure you're subscribed. And uh, if you do want the uh, 30 grand bonus from Bybit, uh, go over to saverycrypto.org slash bybit and you'll, you'll get forwarded to my affiliate link and then you can claim the bonus. What's even better is once once you've got your own bybit account, you'll get your own affiliate link and you can do that. And guess what you can do with that? You can tell your friends.